Hello, this is John here, and I want to welcome you back to the assembly floor at U.S. Freedom Biofuels. And here we've got a model BD65AF. This is our animal fat processor. And I just want to walk you through the animal fat processor. It's got some uh, unique different uh, components to it. This is the, comp uh, the control panel for that BD65AF. And as you can see, this control panel is uh, a lot different than a typical uh, control panel for a BD65 or a BD40. It's got some extra buttons down here. These extra buttons here control the pipe heat and it controls the uh, bottom heat at the bottom of the preheat tank. This is different on this machine than any others. The BD65AF has these two components added to it, extra heat so that the animal fat stays liquefied through the whole process. I'm going to share with you a couple of these components right now. Down here at the bottom you see this uh, shiny aluminum looking uh, pipe. Well that pipe is actually wrapped with a special uh, heat strip. And that heat strip is part of the, the pipe heat feature of this unit. Down here at the bottom of our sight tube we've got another uh, 50 watt heating element down here at the bottom right here. This is an actual heating element. You'll see the cord coming off of it here on the other side of it and it's part of the pipe heat. These are components that are necessary to keep the animal fat flowing until it's processed. Once it's processed, there's no more issue with it being uh, flowable, but animal fat solidifies at approximately 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's kind of like, uh, uh, much like your butter. If you uh, put a stick of butter on your counter, at 90 degrees Fahrenheit, it's going to be soft, but it's not going to be liquid. So a little extra heat to it, and it becomes liquid. Over on the other side of the machine here by valve number 12, which is the valve at the bottom of our water separator, our dewatering side preheat tank, we have another, down here at the bottom, 50 watt pipe heater. And this one goes on with the two bigger elements at the base of the tank. There's two 1,000 watt elements at the bottom of this tank in addition to the 4,500 watt element that's inside the tank. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera around so you can see these other two elements underneath the tank. As we look underneath here, you can catch that. There's one. And back here on the other side is the second one. So these two elements keep the animal fat flowing even though it solidifies at 95 degrees Fahrenheit. There's a couple other components to this processor that uh, the regular BD65 and the BD65, uh, BD40 do not have. For example, this brass fitting right here. This is where we transfer the animal fat into the preheat tank. And that's done with our transfer tank. Over here is the transfer tank. This transfer tank is designed to handle high temperature. It's got a pump on it that's rated for 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, the tank itself is set up so that you can screen the cracklings out of your animal fat, your rendered animal fat. You'd be able to put another screen right on top of this one and filter it down even further. So this is built on its own uh, set of dollies. It's, it's easily moved around, rolls underneath your, your rendering process, and you can transfer that rendered fat from this tank using a high temp hydraulic hose. And let me grab that for you so you can see it. This is the high temp hydraulic hose with the special brass cam locks on it. That allows you to transfer that oil from this tank right here, connecting to this brass fitting here, over to the preheat tank on the back of the BD65AF. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call. This machine is sold, it's going out the door here, uh, in fact, I think later today, but I wanted you to get a quick look at it before it left us. Otherwise, the BD65 and the BD65AF have very similar components, operate very much the same way, but this one will convert pork fat and animal fat 
into biodiesel fuel. I appreciate you stopping by and watching the video. Have a great day.